Hey, thank you for watching my channel. If you already subscribed, welcome back. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. All of my socials are listed up on the screen and will be in the description box down below. In this video, I will be showing you how I bleach and tone my knots for my wigs, closures, and frontals. This is the results of a closure that I bleached and toned from this video so if you want these results make sure you keep watching so I'll be using Blami bleaching powder and this is a blue based bleaching powder so it already has blue in it and it's by the same brand of got to be and I'll be using 20 and 40 volume developer I'll be using matrix brass off this is a blue based shampoo not the purple base shampoo so this is not the silver lights this is blue I'm trying to show you where it was not blue. focusing I'm using a neutralizing shampoo a mixing bowl and a brush a plastic butter knife to help spread the bleach onto the lace i'm using foil sheets and gloves i'll be bleaching two laces today the one on the left is transparent and the one on the right is from my collection is the hd lace closure the transparent closure is small, has small knots at the top, and then when you go to the back, the knots are bigger. So this might process the slower than if the knots were small throughout the whole thing. And then the lace from my collection, the HD lace, that has small knots throughout the whole thing. So this might process faster than the transparent lace. So the processing time will depend on how big the knots are on the lace. So since each lace is different and it might be big knots, small knots, all scattered throughout the lace, there isn't a specific set time for how long you should leave the bleach on. It all just depends on what type of lace it is. Now I'm taking just 20 volume developer by itself and applying it directly onto the lace. This is going to pre-soften the knots so it will take the bleach better. You're not going to see a visible difference it's not going to look different this is just to pre-soften the knots i left this on for about 15 to 20 minutes and then i rinsed it out I was being lazy and still left a little bit of 20 volume in my mixing bowl. Make sure there's no developer remaining in there when you do this next step. So now I'm taking 40 volume and I'm taking my bleaching powder. I'm going to do one scoop of bleaching powder to one scoop of developer. It's going to be a perfect one on one ratio. No toxic waste on the low with your bitch in this grave. Mask on the face, case. Watch it, that's how we in shape. If I go broke, she gon' leave, escape, she gone. Because I already had a little bit of developer already in my bowl before I added the bleaching powder, it was a little bit of runny, so I had to add some more bleaching powder to get the consistency that I wanted. And this is how it came out. It was not too thick and not too liquidy. It was just perfect in my opinion. Okay, now you're going to put your foils down and you're going to put on your gloves. Make sure you're wearing gloves because you will get chemically burned. You will need to apply some sort of hair gel or hairspray to the front hairline of the lace and throughout the lace and comb it in so you won't accidentally over bleach the actual hair. Okay, so I'm taking my butter knife and I am smoothing it on like spreading butter onto the lace. This, I like using the butter knife better than a hairbrush because you can get a little heavy handed with the hairbrush and you might accidentally put too much bleach and it might seep into the hair on the other side. So I like using the butter knife and just evenly spreading it across the lace. Now from the couch back. 
When you're done, you're going to flip the bleach onto the foil and then you're gonna fold the foil in on itself. I'm gonna do the exact same thing to my other closure. So after about 15 minutes, I like to go and check on each um, lace. Once again, some laces might take 15, some may take hours, so it really just depends. And I know if it's done or not by looking at the front hairline and then going directly down the middle straight to the back and seeing if the back is bleached too. So as you can see, this it's not really bleaching all the way yet. You can still see black dots. I did over bleach it a little bit but I fixed that later but um, the front is bleaching a little bit the black is bleaching a little bit so that one's processing faster and then how I know it's done once again is if the front and the back are both the same color not this one right here is done I'm zooming in right here. You can see the knots are orange. Right there, the knots are orange. And then I'm going to the back, and the knots are also orange in the back. And this is my transparent lace. The lights, the knots are big, but they are still orange. So this process is a little slower, but it's still completely bleached. Okay, so as you can see, the lace is very orange now, and that's because we haven't toned it yet. So this is where the Brass Off by Matrix comes in, and we're going to apply that on both laces, on both sides thoroughly, make sure it's covering everything. And we're going to let that sit for about, I think I'm going to sit for about five minutes. I'm not sure, but you can immediately see the difference as soon as I put it on that it starts to look less orange. Okay, here's my transparent lace results, and as you can see, most of the knots are bleached. Um, there's a little section in the top left where some of the knots were not bleached, and this is my HD lace results. Um, almost the whole thing is bleached. It might be a few little specks that weren't, but both the HD and transparent lace was sitting, the bleach was sitting for about the same time, so... So yeah, the processing time depends on the type of lace because both the lace have to bleach on for the same amount of time, but one was more um, bleached than the other. If you like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and put your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!